Hello, welcome back to HLS Crypto. My name is Dan. So uh, firstly, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has uh, sent their well wishes and uh, you know been, been asking after me uh, since I've been away from the, the, the YouTube space. I, I am back now and uh, I've brought something to you today that I think could be really, really interesting. So memes in general, I think we'll still have a massive pump. I think a lot of people would pro kind of agree with that. I believe that Pepe is about to be launched on Binance as well, which is quite good. But we're not going to talk about Pepe too much today, but we are going to talk about a Matt Fury creation. So we know that he is famous almost, well, definitely all, uh, famous for all of his um, frogs and boys clubs and different things like that. Uh, if you look at Pepe at the minute, you can see that, you know, the money was made there. That pump there made absolute millionaires. And then it does that. And it did that for quite a while. Now, our other memes also on this trajectory here, just doing absolutely nothing. And all of a sudden, bang, 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 right up to the top. Now, I think that I've found one that might do this, not to an $8.7 billion market cap. I think that's ludicrous, but I still think massive gains can be made when you when you choose like really low market cap cryptos with it be it mean coins or not i heard alex becker the other day say something about um because a lot of the time we there's a, there's levels to crypto there's there's snobbery uh, almost you know in terms of having your safe plays and you go well get all my safe plays in but what is a safe play because of the amount of money that's being made by memes right now or have done in the past couple of years on this build up and now we're getting to the exciting phase of crypto as well as we edge into that 2025 uh bull cycle which you know some people are calling it uh, potentially a super cycle who knows but i think it's very very interesting how you know if you if you if you're dca and picking up there you know your jump to there is is life-changing so matt fury has got a project called fleabone again this is not one i'm actually going to be uh talking about too much i believe that it was some i've made some notes um i believe it was part of a, a failed pilot of of this double fried which was like a um a pilot show that that I don't really think went anywhere. This guy here is Slippy, which we're going to be talking about. Uh, and there, obviously, is Fleabone. Now, Fleabone, um, their website looks pretty good, to be fair. It's it's what you'd expect from really good animation. And um, Slippy has also got that. So this is just kind of the, the Fleabone one. But the Fleabone, what's interesting about it is, is that, and I know that Slippy have done this too, there's no tax. The total supply is that 420 billion, 690 uh, million so 69 420 we all know the numbers right one percent is uh owned by uh matt fury so i think they sent a big chunk of tokens to matt fury it tells you how to buy it things like that so if, you, if you're interested in fleabone take a look and i'll show you fleabone now in terms of what it's done so it's looking good it's at a five million dollar market cap which i think is still low um but again you know it's up 20 percent today fleabone I'm, I'm not overly concerned about right this very second it's one of them ones where you could pick any of these particular um, group of coins and, and, and they're, they're likely to do well, but Slippy is this. So Slippy's website is all right. It's not the, it's not as good as Fleabone's website, but I think they're still developing it. Uh, and it's um, a dumpster diving horned up frog who loves porn and has a special affinity for garbage. He is Mudbone's BFF and head over heels for Skinky. So you can have a look at the website yourself. There's not much to see here, um, but if we look at Etherscan, Look at its holders. There's only 609 holders. Now, we know that Matt Fury uh, holds 15% of that supply, and, and there it is there. And then the Uniswap wallet's at 4%. But after that, the holders are pretty evenly spread. Now, obviously, nothing that I say is financial advice. I'm quite clear about that. Um, I have purchased a small amount of these tokens, just a couple of hundred dollars worth. It's nothing um, life-changing, but it could potentially be if it goes on a parabolic run. Now. I'll show you the chart for Slippy at the minute. And as you can see, I think that was there. I think that's kind of the bottom. So, you know, it's coming up and coming up and coming up now. So we're on a bit of a pump. We're only still at a $357,000 market cap, which is so low, so low. I mean, you're a 10X from $3.5 million market cap. Now, if you remember um, when we did the Fanex uh, videos, they were around a around $500,000 market cap. And it went to 5 million pretty quickly, which was a, would have been a 10x. Obviously, um, it didn't go too well long term, but that, that was where we were kind of looking at, which I thought was interesting. Um, the buys and sells, there's not a lot of them. And I think the reason why that is because is not a lot of people actually know about this project. I've seen maybe one or two YouTubers kind of talk about it, nothing in real detail. 
but something that I did find interesting. Um, and it should have been kind of like the forefront of a mind for a while now. If you're going to be picking up meme coins, then it might pay to when you do pick them up, as soon as that gets a, a reasonable pump and you take your initial out, then you've got basically a free moon bag. And I think that that's what I'm going to look to do with a lot of meme coins. I think I'm going to build up a little bit of a meme coin uh, portfolio along the way. Uh, this is one I've added now. But what I'm going to do is, is once it's sort of two, three Xs, I'll just take my initial out, potentially even if it's 10 Xs, take the initial out. And then you've just got that chunk of coins that can go to the moon. They might not do. They might go to shit. They might go to, to the moon. They might go somewhere in between, you know, that you're happy with. But th if these things do go and do 100 X, that's life changing. You know, that's $200 into 200,000. And that makes a massive difference. And if you do that two or three times, you know, you're getting close to that million dollar target range. And you're thinking, well, you know, you know, that's your time. So you can quit your job. You can, you know, start investing in other things in the real world as well. Um, retail, uh, re real estate, things like that. If you wish to, um, like I've said all along, I'd like a nice little uh, little patch of land where I can kind of live off the land a little bit. So I've made some notes about some of the benefits of it. I think this is. So obviously, Flea Bone uh, was the main character. And we've seen what that can do. And with Slippy only being a 350k market cap now, you know, it's like, what, roughly 15 times smaller. I have joined their Telegram, uh, which now has about 358 people, I think. So still super, super low. Over on its X page, it's only got 421 followers. One of them is me. And the only person they follow is um, Matt Fury himself. So it's interesting. But if you look at some of the stuff that they're doing, it is interesting. I like the fact that they're, you know, they are taking time to animate and do things that, that look really, really sharp and really, really good. Um, I will say that I think this has been a community takeover. So the original dev is gone. Um, that I, I believe he's, he's gone or she, or we, we don't know. So, you know, price prediction wise, where do you think it can go? 20, 50 million maybe in the, in the bull run. I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much on the price, but I, I'm convinced that, that even a 10 X here um, is valuable and it'll, certainly give you opportunities to then purchase other ones with let less risk in the future um i don't see why flea bone should be at like a five million dollar market cap and slippy is currently in a 357k market cap and i do think that's down to the fact that that no one knows about it yet very few people know about it um they've, they've, they've got a decent team by all accounts i've been speaking to a few people within the space about this particular project and there's a lot of bullish sentiment. However, I don't think it's it's been picked up by the you know the big, um, the big influencers. I mean, I'm I'm not an influencer in any way at all. I'm just a guy who's sharing my journey. But I imagine that if someone like Alex Becker, you know, in in a couple of weeks' time, maybe does a twenty meme coins that are undervalued, and and this is mentioned, then this will pump on its own because he's got that power, he's got that audience, he's got that that um, buy-in from from the people who support him. So I think that if if, if that was the case we could see a 5 million market cap kind of within 20 minutes of, of him releasing the video. That's how much uh, sway he's got within the crypto space. But I do think that part of this double fried project, um, I believe there's a scum nugget one you can buy. You can buy uh, her. I can't think what her name is now. You've obviously got Fleabone and you've got um, Slippy there. Now, as I said before, it, high risk, potentially high reward. Don't go blindly buying it. Do your own research. See what you think about it. But for me, I think it's got a lot of legs. And I think, like I said, I think we've, I think that's the bottom. I think we've hit the bottom now, and and, and we're going to look to start going up. Now, bearing in mind as well, memes they're much maligned by certain people. Other people are just meme maxis. I kind of sit somewhere in between because I think that memes are something that brings a lot of people into the space. So the likes of Pepe, the likes of Brett. Uh, I still have a obviously Brett. That's doing really well um, lately, which is fantastic. But I think that Slippy might be the next cab off the rank in terms of Matt Fury creations that go and do ludicrous numbers. Now, obviously, there's a there's a risk with anything. Um, there's a risk with any coin. The the risk is higher the lower the market cap. I think we we know that. Um, but if it gets that bit of traction, it won't take a lot of money to move this market cap up with it being so low. Um, for me, it was worth. Two hundred, two hundred dollars. I think that's a, um, a a nice amount just to have, just in case. Um, because if it goes does go and do a ten x, and I'll just take that out, the rest can just can just fly, and we can see how it can do things like dog with hat did amazing, uh, bonk. 
and obviously Pepe, a lot of them uh, cocking you, <coughs> a lot of them have done really, really well. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments about this about this uh, project. Let me know what you think. Is it something that you'll be looking to invest into? Is it something you already are invested into? I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. Um, wherever you're in the world, whatever you're doing, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. And as always, I will uh, start seeing you again uh, on a daily basis. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about Trias because I know a lot of people have been asking me about that. Um, and then the day after, I think we'll, we're, we're looking at a potentially an anime play. Um, but again, we'll we'll discuss that on that video. Please smash the subscribe button if you can. Hoping to hit that 5,000 subscriber mark as soon as possible. Comment below, like, share, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Goodbye.